Welcome to this recording of the webinar, Help! What does my assignment question mean? This topic will be useful for ACAP, NCPS and HSA students. This is a recording of the material we cover in the live webinar of this topic. The recording is approximately 10 minutes long. You may want to just watch the video straight through or use the pause button to stop and do the activities. A copy of the webinar slides is available at the web address outlined on this slide. Use the pause button now to take down the web address. This webinar will help you to understand the different parts of an assignment question, learn how to answer different question types, and use the marking criteria as a guide for your assignment. Before you start actually working on your assessment task, take some time to analyse the assignment task carefully. This will help you to answer the question appropriately and to be clear about the direction to take in your search for information. It will help you to focus your reading and most importantly, save you time and energy. One of the most common mistakes students make is going off topic in their research and or writing. Apart from wasting time, this can cost you marks. Before we get started, let's consider where you're up to in relation to your skills around answering questions in writing. Which statement best describes your level of experience? If you relate to statements C or D, then this webinar and other SLS resources will enable you to develop these skills. If you're an A or B, this webinar will give you the confidence to know that you're on the right track. The first step to approaching any assignment is to analyse the question carefully. What exactly does the assignment require you to do? Firstly, ask yourself what are the instruction or task words? Typically, instruction words include discuss, compare, contrast and analyse. It is important that you know the difference between these words, as they tell you what you have to achieve with the topic. Next, consider the general topic words. These words indicate the overall subject matter of the assignment. In this case, the internet. Lastly, look at the words which limit the areas that you have to consider. These limiting or focus words help you to narrow down the scope. Let's look at this one more time. Instruction words give you the information about the approach you need to take in your answer. The general topic words indicate what the general topic is and the general scope of the assignment. The limiting words will narrow down the scope of the topic so you know which part of the general topic to focus on. Now, let's take a look at a couple of questions and consider the three elements. As you can see, there is a question for each school, ACAP, NCPS and HSA. The red words are the instruction words or task words, explain, discuss, choose, examine. Green is used for the general topic words, components of nursing, the influence of popular music personalities, the effects of certain factors on drug use. The blue indicates the limiting words, in particular, verbal and written skills, or in particular, gender role modelling, or in particular, a specific illicit substance that you have chosen. There are quite a few different task descriptors. A full list can be found on the SLS website, or you can search for lists on the internet. Having a list on hand at your work desk will become invaluable for unpacking the question. It's a good idea to always check your understandings about the question with what your teacher or educator says. Let's consider some task words. Press the pause button and think about which task descriptor belongs to which meaning. Press the button now. Pause. Let's check your answers. The first task descriptor is assess making a judgement. The second is contrast, looking at differences. 
The third is reflect, thinking deeply and critically. The fourth is discuss. This is important as it signals you should be using an essay structure. It actually means present your position on the topic, but consider different points of view. The last one is verbatim examples. Give the exact words, often used in a reflective essay, in a counselling or an incident report for nursing or criminology. Here are a few other words that often pop up in assignment questions. For instance, criteria refers to the standards by which you were judged. It's good to have a basic understanding of these words that are contained in this slide. Press pause and consider this question. Which is the instruction word for this question? The instruction word for this question is discuss. Take a moment to consider what are the general topic words here and what are the task words? You might like to press pause now. Let's take a look at the answers. The general topic words are Australian Indigenous cultures and breakdown, and the limiting words are since white settlement. The limiting words help you to stay on track. They help you to address breakdown after white settlement specifically. Let us consider this second sample question. Which words are the instruction words? You may want to press pause and consider this. Discuss is the task word. Remember that this implies that the writer will look at how cognitive and emotional intelligence can be used as well as how they can't be used. Let's take a look at the rest of the question. What are the general topic words and the limiting words? Press pause now and have a think about this. The general topic is intelligence. The limiting words here could be cognitive and emotional and the phrase the field of organisational behaviour. After you've broken down the question, think about organising your ideas into a mind map. This is a visual way of organising your ideas before you write. Scaffolding is another term for organising your ideas into a more structured outline. It might become a guide for you in terms of allocating word count and guiding your research and writing. Begin to think about how you might organise these essays or the general direction of the order of your paragraphs. You'll need to know where your assignment information is. When you look at your class space, this is where you will find assignment information. It is here that you will find the questions. Note, the important information about how much the assignment is weighted, in this case, is worth 50% of your marks in the unit. Note also that the word count is 2000. Somewhere near here, or the next page, you'll find the marking criteria, which contains vital information about how to complete the assignment. Marking criteria cover different areas, for instance, content and structure. The structure of essays in particular is covered in the webinar Essay Structure Bootcamp. You will find that if you unpack the question and use your marking criteria, you can predict some of the structure of your assignment, including the introduction. You will see that there are clear signals as how to structure your written response. Marking criteria will also contain areas like written expression or referencing. There are webinars to assist you with these skills. Check these out on the SLS website or listen to the taped webinar like this one. Here are some last tips for handling assignment questions. Take a few moments to consider these points. Press pause now. The main thing is to keep the question and marking criteria on hand to keep you on track.
For more information and help, go to the Student Learning Support website. Particularly, go to the Information on Assessment Writing, and the information is under that section. Learn more about working with assignment questions with these additional resources from the University of Western Australia and the University of New South Wales. Download the webinar slides from this link and you'll be able to access these resource links. Get in touch with us at Learning Support if you have any queries or need specific advice about an assignment you're writing. Good luck with your studies.